Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the, uh, the EVAP issues with the CF Motos. So I'm, going, I'm referring to the CF Moto C-Force 400, 500, and 800. Um, on the uh, C-Force 500 is what we're gonna be showing you today. It's the same as the 400, but if you've noticed when you open up your uh, rear lid back here, there's a canister back here and this is used this is some kind of california regulation system that they made cf moto do uh to to pass epa regulations i'm guessing and it is causing people with their 400 and 500 and 800 is causing them issues and uh it has to do with also what you've been hearing about with the uh, vapor lock stuff and all that mess uh, so CF Moto is fixing the issue. All you have to do is take it to your dealership and uh, they will fix it for free because uh, CF Moto is paying to have that done at your local shop. Uh, but we'll kind of talk about it today and, and show you how that goes. But uh, I still highly recommend you take it to your dealership and let them uh, bypass this EVAP system. And uh, so, yeah, here we go. Joel here is about to do this uh, 500. But all you're doing is you're plugging this area and th what he just unplugged was a, a vent line that goes to that rear canister. All right, so what he took off just a moment ago, this is actually a vacuum hose. This comes off of your throttle body here, this hose here, and he takes this this vacuum hose off of this T. All right, we'll, that get rid of it we'll, we'll be getting rid of it completely. Joel just unplugged this uh, hose here, and that, that's the vent for your gas tank, right? Mm -hmm. All right, and it has this like one-way valve deal, like a check valve almost, that's supposed to allow it to breathe. And uh, a lot of times you'll see uh, there'll be some gas in this line, which is making it, you know, if there's gas there, it's not allowing it to breathe properly. And this one, you just run straight down. So you're taking that check valve out and then he's gonna just run this vent line straight down. And uh, that's just where CF Moto tells you to run it so that basically it can breathe right. And then if it builds pressure and it can overflow a little gas too right yeah okay and that's, yeah uh, just so, it overflows. so that allows it to freely overflow and breathe at the same time the so this should eliminate all your vapor lock issues okay so i know a lot of people you know you can once you run it for about an hour or two and it's real hot outside you'll build up a lot of pressure and you can crack this uh crack your uh uh yeah that's a yeah yeah your gas cap i can't think today but uh you'll crack your gas cap and you'll hear it just just start breathing so anyways we're actually taking out the rest of this system you'll no longer need this canister and uh so this is going to allow every your whole fuel system to breathe properly and uh this should eliminate or it does it actually does work it eliminates your uh fuel issues and this is just uh i mean cf moto had to come up with something to meet the uh uh regulations from the epa on emissions and uh for california you know because they have way stricter laws and all that so for everybody that's not in california you're allowed to delete all this garbage and uh and this canister it can be removed and uh you'll get your room back on your uh in your uh, storage box so this is the same exact procedure you'll do on the uh, 400 as well it's going to allow your fuel system to work properly breathe like it's supposed to and uh you'll start running way better um so yeah so they get rid of all that mess you get your room back and uh works a lot better <laughs> so uh it's the same thing in your c-force 800 as well I've already had mine bypassed and deleted. Uh, I'll try to video that maybe at some point, uh, go through and kind of show you what, what we did. 
Um, so maybe I'll insert that right here. All right, welcome to several days in the future when I said I was going to show you the uh, EVAP delete on the 800. Um, so, yeah, let's see. We, uh, I wish I could have videoed uh, when we actually did this process. Uh, but to be honest, I was out riding with Joel and them and the 800 started acting up and we did the EVAP delete right there on the side of the trail. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, this is where, just like on the 500, there's a cap that's going to be put on the throttle body there uh, where a line was ran. And uh, that hose was, I don't know, ran somewhere back here. This is the canister on the 800 right yonder so there's your canister and uh, i didn't take it out it, it we could delete that and reroute the vent line and stuff but uh i left it alone uh because we were out on the trail but anyways we've got that fixed there's no need to sit here and explain it because to be honest you really need to let your local dealer take care of this situation now this is on the 2020 model c force 800 the c force 400 and 500 now i was since we are in the future i'll tell you real quick uh before we i take you back to the outro when i filmed when we did the delete on the 500 i see on the new z force 950 they have the same evap system right here i may do a video later on that on getting rid of that because i don't really like that setup i don't live in california I don't have those restrictions so probably gonna get rid of that dude so anyways if for those of you that follow the channel i have the whole back panel off of the z force 950 because i was doing a, a led uh light kit uh rock lights and all kinds of stuff that'll be in another video and while i was at it i was looking at the possibility of snorkeling this 950 uh, so anyways, I don't want to spend too much time on that. That'll be a whole nother video um, I'm still debating on actually doing it or not. It looks like it's going to be very simple. We'll talk about that in another video uh, As far as evap situation on the 600 this 600 runs amazing. It has not gave me a lick of trouble so uh, I don't they didn't, CF Moto didn't release anything about an EVAP, and I haven't necessarily seen a EVAP canister on the 600. Look, normally I do wash my stuff after I ride, but it's been crazy. At least the 800 was clean, except for when I took the back panel off of the 950. But uh, I'm gonna stop running my mouth. Listen, take your machine. If you have a 2020 C Force 800, let them delete the EVAP system. If you have a 500, do the same thing. But hey, uh, I'm about to flash us back to the past when I did the outro for this particular video you're watching right now. So here we go. So again, just an overview of the 500. And, is the 400 exactly mapped out the exactly same? Like okay. So the 400's mapped out the exact same. So just a, a review here, we took this vacuum hose off and it was almost like a closed loop system where you had the vacuum going to the canister and you had your vent line off your tank uh, going to the canister as well. And uh, it just, I don't know, it just it's didn't. breathe on the bottom of that canister. It yeah, yeah. Breathe both of those and it just ain't breathing It just don't it. breathe right. So uh, just a poor design, uh, but this now with that deleted, which CF Moto is allowing you to do, uh, so take it to your dealership and uh, get that problem fixed and you shouldn't have any more running issues. So um, Yeah, I mean that's, that's everything else on the 500 has been awesome As well as the 400. So I mean once this issue is fixed. This is fixed is pretty much the only issue with the 500s 400s and 800s. So uh, super excited that CF Moto is fixing this and uh, Hey comment down below uh if you uh have had this issue where you've been out driving for about an hour or two it starts not wanting to idle right and all this is going to fix your problem but uh anyways guys i hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the video and uh god bless you i'll see you in the next one